I bet you're missing out on some great new features in Zoom because you didn't know about a hidden level of settings in Zoom. Not all settings are available inside the Zoom app. There are extra settings inside the Zoom web portal. But what I'm talking about is a group of settings that are hidden even further inside the web portal. And in this video, I'll show you how to quickly access them. You can get to the general settings area that you are most familiar with by clicking here. And here are the most basic setting adjustments you can make. And you probably no doubt have had a decent browse through here. But there are a lot of high level settings that you'll need to go into the Zoom web portal to be able to change. And you can get there quickly by clicking the view more settings button here. This opens up the Zoom web portal and will take you straight to the settings page under your personal account area. This is the area where you can make granular and global changes to your Zoom meetings. But the personal level of settings doesn't give you full access to the full range of settings. You need to go into the admin section for that, then account management section. Here you can see account settings. This is the highest level of settings that you can change across your whole Zoom account. However, a lot of my subscribers have told me that this particular area is not available for them and as such are unable to access the full set of features in Zoom. One example of that is custom video filters, which you can learn all about in this video right here. Essentially, it allows you to add a custom business logo and or a custom designed frame that can go around the edge of your video during a Zoom meeting. So here's how to fix account settings not showing. You need to attach a credit card number to your account, which effectively verifies your account. Note that Zoom will not make any charge to your card at all. That is unless you want to upgrade your account level. Taking a look at the account profile tab, you can see that my account level is free, but that I am credit card verified. Then over in the billing section, and then in billing information, that I have a card associated with this account. In a moment, I'll show you the process here, but first, if you're getting some value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you quickly hit the like button now to help me with the YouTube algorithm, or better yet, subscribe now and hit the notification bell to be alerted for great new tips and tricks like this as I release them. It really helps me to grow my channel and inspires me to put out more great content for you. So let's go over the process. I'll go over to a dummy Zoom account that I just created, and head to the same area of the web portal. Under the personal section, you can see we have the regular settings available. But then under the admin section, account management, you can see there's no additional account settings here. And indeed, when I click on account profile, you can see I have the same type, free, but it's not credit card verified. And that's why we don't see account settings over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my billing details, which I'll blur out for now. And then I'll just input my credit card details. If you prefer to use PayPal here, that's okay also, although I haven't tested it. But if PayPal doesn't work for you with the account settings, you can always go back and change it to a credit card. So now it's just processing the credit card there and bang, we are done. I'll go ahead and reload the page and the account settings area has now appeared. So I can now go ahead and access the full suite of account settings inside here. You might like to scroll through here at your leisure to get familiar with the additional settings you can play with. But I definitely recommend that anytime you wanna change any settings on Zoom, you do it from this admin level of account settings as opposed to the settings in your personal level. Now that you've got that sorted, I recommend you watch this video next where you'll learn how to display your business logo or any other graphic that you'd like as a custom video filter. It will definitely give you a professional edge in your next Zoom meeting where you'll learn how to display. It will definitely give you a prep.